Hello guys, this is Mantrix Ray, and I'm showing you a legendary class mod called Boundless Lasting Death's Blessing. I will be showing this class mod off in action, and also will be doing some first impressions. It has 5 points, 3 in the purple and 2 in the blue. Uh, and the legendary effect is, on kill from a, a remnant orb, sp uh, spawn a blessed orb that increases Amara's weapon damage by 250% for 20 seconds. And the red text says, where focus goes, energy flows. 40% SMG damage, 33% uh, Atlas weapon reload speed, and 63% uh, TDDOR weapon accuracy. If I go to the skill tree, you've got um, right here in the blue one. So whenever, excuse me, when Amara kills an enemy with a gun or an action skill, she creates a homing missile, a uh, homing projectile that seeks out a new enemy uh dealing her action skill elemental damage uh any overall damage is added to the projectiles damage and it says revenant uh damage is 11,850 if i go to the purple skill tree down here amara gains increased skill damage 54 percent so that sounds pretty good overall now once again uh legendary effect is this, there's this blue orb that you get for killing an enemy and it what it's going to do is going to launch or leech to another enemy and then when it kills it um well you'll see a purple orb that comes out so let's uh show you guys off this uh in action now keep in mind before i do run off i got it from a bus this class mod from a bus called uh the seer and the area is called uh uh scryer's crypt uh Cryer's crypt i think yeah anyway that's basically the final area in dlc 6 which is designer's cut anyway let's show this off in action this class mod we're going to kill them. We're going to kill uh, these enemies. Let the blue orb uh, seek out to uh, the enemy. And then, well, let it kill that. And then you'll see my thing come in. So i got to play carefully because I don't want to get killed too early on. And it's Mayhem 11. So, yes, it's pretty difficult, I will say. A lot of health. Here we go. Okay, that one died, but it didn't show up. So let's try this again. Use this as well. You can also use this blue orb. Uh, you can use the action... What do they call it? The uh, ability that I just used? You can use this to help out as well, obviously. There's a blue orb, and it's supposed to kill... There we go. It worked. You saw that the blue orb chased the uh, Psycho, and then, obviously, what happened next is that... Um, I got... Uh, I got a purple orb out of the enemy... By giving him the blue orb... Killing him off, and then, obviously, then I get my 250% extra increased damage... Now, keep in mind, when I was down on Second Wind, I actually still kept the uh, ability, the buff. So, yes, you can actually keep the uh, the buff while you're down, which is nice. So, we'll do this again. Okay, ready? There we go. Got another one. And here we go. Let's show off the damage real quick before I uh, run out again. You can see it does way more damage. Look at that. 250% extra damage. It's, in it's insane. Look at that. It's freaking insane absolutely uh crazy amount of damage this does unfortunately i'm not showing the best version of it because you know i keep on dying right now but it works really really well you just saw me just take down what two three enemies within a second or two and this is my uh smg it's not even my best one but it does work uh but anyway you guys get the point of the class mod that's what you got to do that's it that's uh how it works just make sure you get that purple orb to hit you you got 20 seconds of you know fast killing other than that, that's pretty much it. I think the class mod's definitely worth grabbing. Once again, go and kill the final boss in DLC 6. This year. Other than that, thank you guys for watching. See you later.